Hello and welcome back to another Tottenham Trophy hunt and as we can see the lead table on the screen we're still undefeated in the league 9 wins and 3 draws from 12 games with the top scorers of 38 goals we can see a bit too many goals and I'd like 13 but we're playing well since the last episode where you know we had them um, big games against Chelsea, Bayern Munich and May United and we struggled a bit against May United and Bayern Munich but we somehow got the win against May United but we've We've been up and down a little bit, but in our performance-wise, but we're still playing really well. We're beating Leicester seven-one in the league, which came a bit as a shock, but it was an amazing game. Kane and Son getting hat tricks, very good game. And then Victoria Pilsen, we we just didn't play well at all away from home. We just let like the Victoria Pilsen are terrible, and we let in so many chances that they were. I had to bring on. Kane and Son and everyone off the bench to win the game with like the XG before that was like you can see on the screen it at the end on the right hand side we had to it was level it was bad yeah but then beating Brentford four 0 then Victoria Pilsen game three 0 drawn one over Brighton should have won that game but we didn't and then beating Evan two 0 does comfortable they got a red card in the early minutes but yeah. In this episode, away at Man City and at home to Bayern Munich. For some reason, every big game we have in the league right now is away from home. So, second half of the season, we should be better. But yeah, here we go. We're going to game at Man City. And let's hope we get the win. Alright, here we go. The Man City lineup. They've won the last four games. They've got Palmer in the field. A bit interesting. Lewis and Gomez are fullbacks. So they haven't got their strongest team out. We've got our strongest team out that we can do right now, which is good. So they they got a few weakness points. They haven't got they didn't have the Bruyne, but yeah, they're top of the league, two points ahead of us. But if we win, we go top. And they win, obviously, they stay top. But we need to win to go top of the table. But away from home, it was not easy. Gundogan's a bit tired, so we we played Everton and because they we went two 0 quite early and they had a red card. I rotated quite a bit during the game, so our players got a bit of rest, which is good. But yeah, Sessing got pickpocketed there early. Good for a long lay. Kane, are you gonna get the ball? No, okay. <laughs> Good to put Mara's in. He's gonna. I thought it was just pass it to Harlan and he'll score, but no. Yeah, they, they might have all these like rotations and that, but they still got Harlan up front, which is a bit of a cheat code. But okay, it's a bit unfair really to have him up front. Yeah, but they've started with a better team. Pedro Poro. Come on. It's a good play. Into Kane. Wide. Unlikely, but oh, that was a corner. Human son to take. He was a back post. Kudasesco on the edge of the box. Kane. Ooh. Play back out wide. Back out wide. Come on. Got some shots away, which is nice. Yeah, their bench isn't even the strongest. They've got a load of young players on the bench, so they're obviously going through some injury trouble right now, which is good for us. But yeah, Haaland on... Yeah, it doesn't matter. you got Alan Haaland and we got Eric Dyer. It doesn't matter what players they play. They're just one ball over the top. It's just easy, isn't it? It's a good ball by Lewis. And Haaland, even on his weak foot, smashes it past the race for 1 0 Manchester City. But we got a corner straight away. Can we glide straight away? Edison gets the ball. Hmm. He's been forced to kick it along. Romero wins the ball, which is good. And some good football, but British tackles Benton Gore. Gomez to Haaland. Haaland. Eric Dyer, come on, man. You're just absolutely lost. He's absolutely lost. The, the positioning is so bad. He's just... It, Harlan's behind him. And he doesn't... He just... Ugh. Oh, Bentacol is in the ball in the field again. He's not having a good game. Harlan through again. It's the post. <laughs> Sessi Young loses out to Lewis. 
Lewis, good tackle by Long though. Out by assessing your city are putting the pressure on. Yeah. We just haven't been able to get good chances. And then they just have one ball at the top to hard and he's in all the time. Corner to City. Gomez with to take. Cleared by Benton Cool. Back to Gomez. Save by Larice. Yeah. Gomez is involved a lot in this game. Both their fullbacks, they both had the assist for the goal, didn't they? But it's been cleared out to Mahrez. Tackle by Benton Cool. He's still got the ball. No, it's a goal kick. We haven't, we have been terrible, but we haven't been terrible, terrible, like, it's just Haaland, isn't it? Kane's been terrible, he's on a 6.3. But that's half time. Not good. It looks like City will be top of the league, which is fine, you expect them to win the league. Don't expect Tottenham to win the league in their first season with Eric Dyer at centre-back. Good playing out the back, into Sun, carries the ball, hits it, over the ball. Didn't need to hit it from that far out, but he did. Problem is, I don't really have made changes off the bench. That can really impact the game. Gomez to Grealish, Haaland, hat-trick. Yeah. Haaland. There's a battle of Haaland and Kane, and Haaland's just got the, the advantage right now. Kane's on the 6.2. Haaland's been taken off with a 9.4. Uh, that's a bit of a disrespectful, isn't it? Uh, I'll bring on Dan Juma. And Richards and Kane's not been in the game at all. Try and get some legs up there. And also bring on Perisic as well. I want to save also Romero for the Bayern Munich game. Yeah, it looks like this game's petering out. We're not creating anything. They've even got another attack. Stones 4-0. This is a humbling experience, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it suggests me a substitution, even amount of substitutions. So yeah, 4 0 Manchester City, or oh, will it be 5? Comers with the ball in. It is 5. Is it, oh, is it offside? Foden scored. Was Calvin Phillips down in an offside position? Yes. <sighs> so it would have been fine, but Phillips was offside. Well, lovely game, isn't it? Lovely day out in Manchester. Yeah. And now we're facing Bayern Munich yet left next, so that, 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 that makes things a lot better. But. Uh, just a bad, just a really, really bad performance. Apparently, he was the only one that played well, but Eric Dyer just lost it at Hurling Harland too many times for me to count in that game. But yeah. But now, it's hosting Bayern Munich at the top of the stadium. Alright, here we are. Couple changes, bringing in Hoiberg and Davison Sanchez. You know, Longley and Basuma are a bit tired, so we're in them, but they've gone for a 4 triple 2 Change it up from the last game. They've just got so many good players in there. It'll be difficult. Last time Bayern Munich were here, I'm pretty sure that was the 7-2 victory, wasn't it? In 2019. But yeah, we lost 4-0 obviously away from home, so... Hoping for a bit better result this time, maybe. But it was definitely still the underdogs. Kluzewski. Benton Core. Strike. Oh! Hit the bar. 
What a strike. Got some shots off early, which is nice. Can't say the same for what happened in your weight leg, but... Gnabry. He ran the show that... A bit of a weird type of shot with the outside foot, but yeah, he ran the show in that 7-2 game, didn't he? He got the hat-trick. Yeah, come on. Rare wins at the Toporo Sun. Shoots wide. Could have played um, Kane in there, but he didn't run behind. Getting shots away, which is nice. No big chances yet for either team. Which is probably a good thing. I don't really fancy Bayern Munich getting big chances like they did at the Allianz Arena. The race with a kick up field. Found Kane. Header? Well, <laughs> she's got a header from outside the box. <laughs> How far out was that? So the race with a kick. It's a terrible kick. The defender should do it, but they didn't. Leave. That's about 30 yards out. That's insane. <laughs> don't know what to think about that. But no, yeah. The, the defender's confused. Well, well, clearly not off Eh? I was offside check, but yeah. One of the best goals you've ever seen. Headed from 30 yards out. We're winning the ball here. Benton caught winning it twice. And we're winning up against Bayern Munich. Oh. Missy eyes in. Good save, Lloris. Good save. Kimmich with the corner, though. Back out to Kimmich. What can Sessignon do? Just stand. Oh, he gets the ball. Why has Lloris not got an assist for that? It's strange. But yeah, we're playing well. We're winning. Well, I've seen that coming, but... Came it with a free kick over the bar. But we're beaten by Munich. And they've got a strong team out there. With all the like Goretzka instead of Blind, but he's actually playing well. Yeah, we won them up at half time. Not dominating them, but you don't expect to dominate by Munich and... Any with any team, they're just not getting any good chances with it. I can't remember the XG they had in the last game, but it was very high. Uh, that's a ball to Larice. To remember, but good playing out the back, quick football, open up the space. They found Kuliseski. Kuliseski, that is one of the worst shots you've ever seen. Uh, that that was not good. <laughs> it could have played in sun, but come on. Playing out the back's been very good in this game. Sun's fan Sessignon on the left hand side. Sessignon. Kuliseski. He gets a lot of headways, Kuliseski. I don't know why they keep aiming headers at him, uh, crosses at his head, but he always seems to find him. <laughs> Yeah, we played very well in the second half. Davison Sanchez had a very good game in that left centre back role. Maybe we should play him there more often. Some players tiring a bit. Bring on Dan Juma and Richardson for Kuliseski. And Sun. And I'm bringing. Uh, Emerson Royale on that right hand side. Along with Eve Basumo in that central mid. Come on, let's see this out. Romero with a long ball switch over to Sessignon. It's a good touch. Sessignon do into Richarlison. 2 0. What a ball by Sessignon. And that's why I kind of want Richarlison late on in games. He always provides that. Threatening behind and he's he's in the right position there. Good switch by Romero. Sessing Young, perfect pass. That's a great pass. And the great goal, 2 0. Beaten by Munich, 2 0. And it's a deserved um, win as well so far. Not so far. Uh, they've got two players in that box with a keeper in there. I don't think that's allowed, but okay. They picked up the ball, Mane finds Gnabry, and it's 2-1. This is why I didn't want to say anything too soon, but I did. 
and I might regret it. Because they have found a way back into the game. Goretzka into Mane. Dallas Sanchez not in the right position and they got a goal back. But four minutes of ad time is up and we've beaten Bayern Munich 2 1. Sessing Young Man the match. Very, very good performance. 20 shots against Bayern Munich is very impressive. Yeah, I've got to say, I'm delighted with that performance. Where does that leave us in the Champions League table? That puts us top. And it guarantees us top as well. I think Bayern Munich struggled against Napoli in their two games against them. So, yeah, we finished top of our Champions League group. When I thought that at the start, and yeah, that's, that's a very good thing. So I assume Napoli will beat Victoria Pilsen, and Napoli would have to beat us to come top of the group. But Bayern will probably beat Victoria Pilsen anyway. But Napoli probably can't qualify now. Wow, that, that, that's a great way to end the episode, isn't it? Assessing your man the match, six key passes. He's been very good this season. I'll show you some of the stats for the season so far. So. Appearance wise, this is Larice, but then everyone else has fallen behind a bit. Arrested a couple of players in the Victoria Pills in games, but goals. It's Harry Kane. 22 goals in 16 games, or 16 starts at least. He's been very good. I'd like to see him playmaking a bit more, but hey, he's scoring a lot of goals and he's working. Son and Kuliseski, some with nine goals. Kuliseski with four. Underform is actually both for quite, quite a bit. Dan Juma, great option off the bench. He's coming. Richardson's again also that option off the bench. He hasn't done well that to be fair in his performances. Pedro Porro with that goal, but assist wise, it's Pedro Porro, Kuliseski, Sess and Young. Very good playmakers. That 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 right hand side of Pedro Porro and Kuliseski playmaking galore there. And in play of the matches, it's all split up really. Everyone everyone's contributing very well. And yeah. We'll end the episode there. We, we're not top of the league. We've lost our first game of the season in the league. But yeah, we're second league. We've won the Champions League group. I think that's a good way to end the episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.